Hey guys, Mobile Geezer back again. And as you can probably tell by the image behind me, we've got another malware to deal with. This is a new malware aimed at your Google Chrome. We've been getting a lot of those lately. And I found this one on Tom's Guide where I probably find most of them. So let's take a look at it and let you guys know how to deal with it and or how not to deal with it and how to get rid of it rather than allow them to get into your computer. Let's do this. So as I said, it's on Tom's guide. It came out two days ago. Reported by Anthony Spadafora, as always. Thank God for him. New malware locks Google Chrome in kiosk mode until you enter your password. How to stay safe. Whatever you do, don't enter your password if Chrome is stuck in kiosk mode. That is the key thing here. Do not enter your password under any circumstances. So let's drop this into reader view and we'll get rid of some of these ads. Imagine this, you step away from your computer for a minute with your browser open only to come back and find Google Chrome stuck in kiosk mode. To make matters worse, you find that the escape and F11 keys on your keyboard no longer work. Unfortunately, this is a real situation that you could very well find yourself in thanks to a malware campaign designed to steal your Google password and other credentials. As reported by Bleeping Computer, the malware used in this new campaign is designed to frustrate users and trick them into entering their Google password to unlock their computer in order to get their browser out of kiosk mode. However, doing so not only gives the hackers behind this campaign your Google credentials, but if you have other passwords saved in your browser, they could end up taking control of the rest of your online accounts. Here's everything you need to know about this new malware campaign, including how to get your browser out of kiosk mode the safe way and what you can do to keep your computer safe from hackers. So, where they gave us a way out. Tricked by the Amade malware. According to a new report from OA Labs, whose researchers discovered this new attack method, it has been used by hackers since August of this year, so a month ago. This attack and others like it rely on an Amade malware loader, info stealer, and system reconnaissance tool, which was first deployed back in 2018. So I guess people are still adding to this thing. Like other malware strains, Amade is spread through malicious attachments, malicious ads, pirated software, and malicious files. While OA Labs didn't mention the exact infection chain used in this new attack in its report, any of these could lead to your browser being forced into kiosk mode by hackers. For those unfamiliar with kiosk mode, it's a special configuration used by both browsers and apps, which runs in full screen mode to limit user interaction. You'll typically find devices in kiosk mode when you head to your local electronics retailer as companies want to show off what their devices are capable of without giving you a chance to interact with them on your own. With this attack, the hackers behind it are abusing Chrome's kiosk mode to limit what some can do on their own computer. The idea is that if someone is extremely frustrated, they may just give in and enter their credentials without thinking clearly about the situation first. Do not do that. Do not get so frustrated you give in and enter your credentials. If someone enters the password for their Google account, it is quickly stolen by the Steel C malware and relayed back to the hackers behind this campaign. You may be able to quickly change your password afterwards, but it's unlikely the hackers would give you enough time to do so. Instead, they're now in control of your Google account and any password you may have saved to your Google password manager. 
Now here's the important part. How to get out of kiosk mode and keep your PC safe from malware. So what do you do if you step away from your PC and come back to Google Chrome in kiosk mode? Well, for starters, you shouldn't panic, as that's exactly what the hackers behind this campaign want. While the escape and F11 keys on your keyboard may no longer work, you should try other keyboard shortcuts. For switching and closing apps such as Alt F4, closes an app, Control Shift Escape, opens Task Manager, which of course will allow you to go kill the app yourself. Control Alt Delete, let you close an app or reboot your computer. And Alt Tab switches app. By using the keyboard shortcuts above, you may be able to bring your desktop to the foreground, cycle through your other open apps, or launch the task manager, which will let you end the task your browser needs to run. If nothing here works, you can always hold down the power button on one of the best Windows laptops until your computer completely shuts down. Then you can press F8 as you boot up your computer and select Safe Mode. In this limited version of Windows, you'll be able to run a full malware scan to find and then eliminate Amade or the SteelC malware for good. To keep your PC safe from malware threats in the future, you should consider using the best antivirus software. Microsoft's own Windows Defender will certainly do the job, but paid antivirus software often comes with extras like a VPN or a password manager to help keep you even safer online. As people get wise to the tricks used by hackers, they have to come up with new ones to get unsuspected, I guess they mean unsuspecting, users to fall for their attacks. This new campaign is just the latest example of this. However, if you're careful online, install updates as soon as they become available and avoid downloading attachments or clicking on links from unknown senders, you should be okay. So at least this is one, if you do happen to get stuck in kiosk mode, there's multiple ways to get out of it without entering your password. So just wanted to let you guys know about this one. Of course, I'll leave a link to the article in the description. So as always, comments are welcome. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you like my content, please share the videos with friends, family, or whomever you think might be interested. Subscribe if you haven't already done so, and be sure to click the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos that I upload. And please hit the thumbs up as it does help with the algorithm. So there's one other thing. We all do better when we love each other.